Hello guys, here is Jules and you are welcome to my channel. This is my first video and I would like to say a few words about me. So I'm a PhD student in plant ecology based in Potsdam, but originally I'm coming from St. Petersburg. I was always into science and creative stuff like learning playing drums, ukulele and painting. But what's more important, I'm an animal rights activist. This channel is dedicated to involve more people in the animal rights movement to share knowledge, common practices and strategies for successful activism. I will summarize all the information that I found on this topic to encourage you and help you to conduct great, powerful actions that will hopefully bring us closer to the annual liberation. I will also analyze non-violent direct actions for you and uh, explain symbology and strategies that they use. Now, I'd like to start with my personal story of animal rights activism. I started seven months ago and I accidentally find out that that vegan couple comes to Berlin uh, to give a workshop where I participated and on the next day I was so empowered that I jumped straight into the action and the action was organized by Anonymous for the Voiceless. There was the Cube of Truth. I uh, continued cube actions, uh, first standing in the cube and then doing outreach. And later I heard about the direct action everywhere that were focusing not on individual change but on the social change. And I participated in my first disruption that was the steakhouse. Later on, I participated in the big event organized in Vienna, where I got familiar also with the animal safe, namely the cow safe Vienna, and got to know a lot of great activists. Back to the cow safe Vienna. Uh, well, they were organizing the vigil where I participated, and this was really the moment when uh, that was emotionally and psychologically very hard because you're just standing in front of the slaughterhouse and you cannot do anything. You see the animals, their last moments. I felt frustrated, I felt hopeless and I started to ask myself, am I doing enough? What can we do to improve our actions, our demonstrations? What are we actually seeking for? Right, but are our actions leading us to our goals or are we fighting against the wall? That was the moment when I needed to acknowledge that I need to dive into the animal rights movement history and social science, look through the different human rights movements and their strategies, all the movements that fighting against oppression. And here I am today to tell you a brief history of animal rights or to start it in this video, point out the main um, stages and also explain the differences between animal welfare and animal rights. The story that I will tell you I found in the book of Carl Guter, Animal Rights, History and Scope of Radical Social Movement. Well, first discussions on animal feelings, pain and suffering started already in 18th century from the educated rich class. There were people who believed that animals deserve better treatment and these people organized in 1824 the Royal Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Sounds awesome, isn't it? But wait, 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 wait. There is a disappointing part. Their demands promoted animal welfare, but not animal rights. Sorry, what is the difference again? Welfarists raised awareness about the cruelty that happening to animals 
used for food, clothes, entertainment industries in vivisection. They criticized animal farming for violent practices, but they were convinced that it's totally okay for humans to use animals for their purposes if it's not causing unnecessary suffering, whereas conception of animal rights is completely different in its roots. True animal rights movement originated in England in 19th century. It was based on the philosophical imperative that animals, like humans, possess certain fundamental and inalienable rights, so the animals need to be treated as moral equals. Adam, you have it, modern definition of animal rights, basically. But what does it practically mean for the animal rights activists? What do they do in contrast to welfareists? Well, they opposed any kind of use and abuse to animals. So, for example, in the food industry and clubs industry or serotid household pets, had spoken against biomedical research, confinement livestock, poultry production, animal testing, use of animals in entertainment, for fur, hunting, trapping, killing whales and dolphins, holding animals in captivity like zoos or aquariums. In 1977 till 1979, in US, England and Canada, the Animal uh, Liberation Front and some other groups started to disrupt hunts, food industry, class industry, animal testing. But apart from this, there were other ways to address the issue politically. Animal rights activists wrote letters, made seminars and media events in Congress, they conducted demonstrations to get public attention. They provided children with classroom materials. They held the speeches in colleges to engage students to participate in animal rights movement. In 1994, International Animal Rights Symposium took place, where Kenneth Shapiro pointed out four phases of animal rights movement. First one is identifying problems of animal mistreatment. Here the examples would be lab animal research, poor farming, captivity and exhibition of marine mammals and so on and so on. The second phase of animal rights movement is developing an appropriate ideology. Richard Ryder in 1990 distinguished between three main doctrines. The first one is the animal rights philosophy that says oppose to abuse of animals in any way and see each animal as an individual. This one comes from Tom Regan. Second one is utilitarian doctrine which says causing pain is wrong unless necessary for human benefit. Pretty weird one. And this comes from Peter Zinger. Third one is concept of pain that says Causing pain to individual animal is wrong, regardless of their species. The third phase of animal rights movement is understanding how change works. Meaning, we need to study tactics, develop critical opinion on the issue and work all together in order to influence public policy and private decisions. Fourth and the last phase of animal rights movement is develop explicit standards of ethics for animal advocacy, which means basically we need to use non-violent approach to achieve peace and justice. Ooh, that was intense lecture. If you like this video, please give me thumbs up, subscribe, share, leave the comments below your feedback. Did you like this video? Was it helpful? What do you want to see more on my channel? And see you next time. Bye.